I'm Terry Talbot of Mason Prophet, and I'd like to say a few words about the new vote. 25 million young Americans now have their chance to make history and to change the future of this country. A chance to challenge society and to improve it. To challenge and change requires your vote. So let's pull together. Join the action with a say in the system. Remember, it's now that counts. Vote. Andrew Hughes, uh, Assistant Librarian at the University of South Florida Tampa Library in the Special Collections Department at Florida Study Center. And I was going through the political papers of Congressman Sam Gibbons and came across an interesting item. Uh, in a folder about uh, youth voting, I found a 45 record that actually has uh, some public service announcements and a song by the Mason Profit Group. Uh, called vote and it was meant to get the vote out in 1971 uh, shortly after a constitutional amendment allowed 18 to 21 voting of course there was a lot of pressure on the federal government to allow younger people to vote because they they were being drafted and sent to Vietnam in large numbers it makes sense especially for a Democrat to um, to espouse the cause of uh, young voters because many of these young voters would register Democrat. So Sam Gibbons and many other Democrats <clears throat> uh, did go around their communities to try to register voters to vote in the 1972 presidential election. Uh, some people thought that Nixon w would be able to be beaten this way. Of course he wasn't. Um, the, the record is interesting for several reasons. Uh, for one, uh, it is the kind of music that was thought that would um, mobilize young people, uh, get them out to vote. What's also interesting is all the different clippings that Gibbons kept uh, in this folder about young voters. It seems like that the, the politicians, the political establishment, um, and much of the press was collectively trying to figure out uh, what young voters were going to do to change American politics. Uh, many thought that it would be a, a major sea change in American politics to have so many young people, especially uh, so many disgruntled youth uh, who weren't happy with the direction of the country as far as being entangled in the war in Vietnam, uh, etc. Effects of youth voting may have been overstated. Uh, first of all, um, then as now, young people aren't always very motivated to keep up with politics and to get involved. Uh, so this song was meant to rally young people um, to participating in their democracy. The song was actually featured on uh, the Midnight Special show uh, in a live performance by the Mason Prophet Group. Terry Talbot, uh, the, the band leader for the Mason Prophet Group, is still active in music today, and I was able to contact him via email. Um, and while he doesn't remember a lot of the specifics around the recording. Uh, he did say that he was uh, somewhat disappointed with some of the results of the political demonstrations of the 1960s and uh, thought that uh, young people had a much better chance at, at uh, engendering change through voting and getting involved in the political process rather than um, railing from outside of the process. So I'm going to share a couple of the public service announcements. Uh, the song itself uh, and some of the imagery I found in the folder about um, about young people voting, uh, especially in the 1972 election. Uh, this is especially apropos uh, for 2008 and its important presidential election. And of course the reports that young people have been energized, especially by Obama's candidacy. Uh, all this imagery uh, is contained in the Sam Gibbons collection, which can be found at the University of South Florida Special Collections Department. You say you don't like the country, you don't like the way it's run. 
So you carry sign, march in time, and you play revolution. Things like that don't work now, but you got something that's really real. Put down your toque, learn to vote, and you can hear them where they're gonna feel. Everybody put your name down. Everybody. your name down everybody make a mark stand in line show your mind for the never do your part you're from california california for atlantic shore child atlantic shore don't be shy Throughout history, participating in worthy projects has been directly traceable to the people who were young. Now young people are running for office, and chances of outvoting adults in some states is very, very possible. Rising to a new identity of importance and power, youth by the millions can become the political dark horses for 1972. It's not all Vietnam, the ecology, and unemployment that's given young Americans the urge to vote. Besides, the U.S. political system doesn't always react quickly enough to the needs of the people. So here's where you can gather the forces of change. Like nature, voting is free, so what can be more right than when the old image is changing from bad to good, to go on from good to great, and from making a contribution to the world, to change in the world. Everybody. 